You're watching coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 15's Weekend Report. Good evening, I'm Rod Hissong. The Manchester University community is in shock today after the deaths of three students. Police tell us tonight a man is in the Grant County Jail suspected of driving drunk and hitting the students along the side of the interstate. According to police, seven students from the school were on the side of I-69 around 5.30 this morning trying to fix a flat tire. That's when a suspected drunk driver plowed into them, killing three and sending another to the hospital in critical condition. The county coroner there pronounced Nirad Mangai, Brooke Dagnu, and Kairabul Hailu dead at the scene. Israel Tamir was airlifted to a Fort Wayne hospital and is in critical condition. The university quickly sprang to action this morning. Anytime something like this happens, it affects the entire community. All of the students were international students, and so there's a gathering place on campus called the Intercultural Center. We have counselors there, we have staff there. Uh, they're gathering. It's a natural gathering place for these students' friends, and we'll be holding vigil there today uh, for these students as we learn more about what's happened. Six of the students are from Ethiopia and Mangai is from Nigeria. The university said the seven were heading back to campus after visiting friends at Ball State and Taylor University. Police have booked 26-year-old D'Angelo Evans on charges of OWI, OWI causing injury and reckless homicide. He's being held on $300,000 bail.